Hi viewers, welcome back to part 2 of the line and design in Archcard. So, uh, today we are going to learn how to draw or to make a road onto a sloping terrain in Archcard. So, uh, today we are going to use this guy, the spring tool and um, uh, fields. So, first of all, first uh, sketch out the nature of the road onto the make using the spring tool. So, assume your road is running like that onto this uh, slope. Yeah, so, uh, Select the first. Uh, select this as prime. Um, left click onto it. So uh, offset this line. Uh, that's the road. Yeah. So um, within this road, uh, let's put in a fill to see it uh, clearly. Let's let's first close the edges of this as this prime. Then I fill this road with a fill. Okay. So that is our fill. So let's bring it forward. Yeah, so that's our road. But remember, whatever we are doing is in 3D. If you can go to 3D, I hope you can uh, see that the road doesn't appear into this uh, uh, slope. So, um, Method one, we are going to use a slab, yes, and also copy part of uh, copy this mesh and paste it in the same position. Then I uh, also use the solid building operation uh, to create this uh, road. So um, let's turn uh, this uh, fill into a slab. So select the slab tool, then uh, fill it into. Okay, first drag this from the side. Yes, then fill this. Uh, So this is our slab, so drag it back to the position where I want it to be. Yeah. Let's offset it so that we can clearly see it in 3D. Yeah. Then uh, let's open it in uh, 3D. Yeah. So we are going to use solid element operation. Um, you select uh, the measures, the target. Then uh, select the road, what's that? What's the operator? Then upload the exclusion or execute. So um, after doing so, we're going to copy, we're going to put a flop down. I copy this mesh. And we'll bring it back in the same position. Go back to flip it. Yeah. So uh, drag it slightly here. The initial mesh is about um, maybe 50. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Then you can drop to give it an um, um, finishing maybe the dot. Okay. Okay, so there is your right. Now select the, the second mesh, select it as the target, then the initial mesh, the first mesh, select it as the target again, uh, then add it to the second. There is a uh, road. So that is uh, uh, that is the first method. So um, the second method is that um, let us first select this, the fill, then the mesh, the second mesh. Uh, yeah. So um, what we are going to do is that um, we are going to copy this fill. And it's safe. Then I uh, first um, uh, make this first section of 3D. Let's do it on the right of this mesh. Mm -hmm. 48 meters. Then I uh, throw here, create another mesh. Mesh 32 meters. So that is our mesh. Then it is 8 meters. Okay. So I plug it in the same position where I have it placed. Uh, let's see what is in here too. So let's make it if this size. It's supposed to be green. Okay. Then this is supposed to be green. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as right. <coughs> then uh, let's work this at the same level as the mesh, the initial mesh. Yeah. 
euh, hop, euh, ouais, c'est bon, donc une dernière section, en deux coups. Hein. Ça va y aller, c'est là qu'il désorde. Hein. Donc, après, c'est là qu'il y a mieux. C'est là qu'il y a mieux, ça se fait, je sais pas. Deux sections, et c'est qui So, um, after being so, we're going to put the front of the grab this, front of this, paste it again, front of this, give it a different uh, color to identify it, and this, go back to the front of this. So, we are going to get this, uh, uh, many guys are here, one, maybe, front of this, uh, I got here, you know, okay. Then I uh, add this control thing, give it uh, this, okay. Then I uh, drag it to the first one, like that, then. Okay. Yeah. Then I drag it to the first one, like that, then. Drag it to the first one. So, this is our road, following this, the Anisha. Okay, so, so, so um, in case you like the video, Uh, subscribe below and share for more videos of such kind.